Hi there, this is Abhishek. In this video, I will talk about how you can create a magic quadrant chart like this. So the magic quadrant name is basically given by the Gartner, which is a leading research firm who publishes its papers. And in that papers, they heavily use this chart called the magic quadrant. In this kind of a magic quadrant chart, which Gartner usually use, they just try to show who are the leaders in their respective area, who are the laggards, who are giving tough competitions, information like this. So this chart has been uh, very famous. If you have seen reports from Gartner, you must have observed this kind of a chart. And here in this example, I have taken the uh, couple of company names who are into business intelligence and uh, uh, data visualization field like ClickView, which, uh, for which tool you are seeing this current video on Tableau, SAS and uh, other companies like this where I have taken them uh, two capabilities. So first capability is uh, on the visualization, how good they are into doing, doing the visualization of the data. And second on the X axis, I have ease of use. That means how much easy it is to use these tools. So the company names who are reflecting over here means they are very good in data visualization as well as easy to use. So quick view is relatively less easy to use tab view. But one thing to notice that in this example, I have used fictitious data just to give you a demo. This is not the real data. Probably the real report, you can get it from partner, but this is just a fictitious data for this presentation. So as I was saying that uh, uh, here, what it represents, Tableau is comparatively more easy to use as compared to ClickView or SAS or SAP because Tableau is reflecting pretty much on the farther right side of this X axis on which easy of use has been positioned. Similarly, Panorama software is comparatively less easy to use, but it has a great visualization capabilities. So that's how you can easily identify who are the leaders in their respective area, who are the laggards and who is giving tough competitions and who are these leaders. So we will see how you can create such kind of a chart in ClickView. So for this, I will just show you the kind of data which I have used. So here is this data where in one column I have BI platform, ease of use, I have given some figures and the visualization capability, I have given some fictitious figures. And then I have imported this data into the quick view. So let's go back to quick view and see how you can create this kind of a chart. So I will just go ahead and add a new sheet by clicking add sheet. Here I will right click, go to new sheet object and press chart. Here I will get the scatter chart for this magic quadrant. Click next. I will use the BI platform sheet to show who are those BI vendors. The next, here I will, on the X axis, I will specify ease of use. And on the Y axis, I will going to specify visualization capability. And for now, I'll just click finish. So you can see here, uh, this data has been reflected on this chart. I will just expand this so that you can easily see this these data points over here. Now I think it is pretty clear. So here are all the, these data points. Currently no labels, nothing is being given. Uh, it is uh, coming with access and uh, not done this kind of a formatting which is giving you a clear idea about on which access uh, a particular dimension has been used or what it is, what dimension it is saying, whether visualization capability or ease of use. So let's just go ahead and quickly first put uh, this quadrants by putting these reference lines. So as I said, we can put the quadrant by using the reference lines. The same case when you go into the properties of this chart, go to presentation and reference lines. We just click add and I will just say 50 percentile. It will automatically going to calculate the 50 percentile and put the line on both x axis and y axis. You have the option of putting the line only on x-axis and y-axis, but uh, since in this case I'm showing the, want to show the lines on both axes, that's why I've chosen this one. Weight, I just, I'm just using two points. You can use it according to your requirement. 
color you can choose multiple colors and uh, style i'm just going by default so i'll click ok and right now just go ahead and click ok all right so this line has been uh, drawn over this chart which is similar to the one which has been presented over here now the next good thing is to put these uh, names on these data points and uh, remove these legends so for that we'll right click again go into the properties let's just get rid of uh, legends so uncheck this and then uh, within the presentation click on this labels on data points and hit ok once you hit ok you are now not seeing these legends which has gone and uh, the names are now directly reflecting over here on these data points now the next thing is to get rid of these axes uh, as per the how uh, Gartner magic quadrant chart is shown they don't show these axes but they just show this uh, name of the dimension name of the axis which is visualization capability or easy of use so for that right click again go to properties axis hide x-axis hide y-axis once you click apply your axis is gone now we will just put but you see with these axes those names visualization of data and ease of use is also gone so for that we'll just put a text in chart and we will say okay i want to put what visualization visualization wrong spelling visualization capability hit okay and add another which is ease of use and hit okay we'll just click okay and see how it is coming so it is coming overlapping each other so for now i'll just i have pressed Control and shift and you are seeing these red borders are coming wherever you know there is title or chart this is because so that i can easily drag one or the other field right now i've just dragged the visualization capabilities from the mouse i will just go ahead and drag ease of use down there on x-axis and visualization capabilities somewhere here and i will expand this little bit or change the width so that it is clearly visible right now uh, we are having uh, without formatting these ease of use and visualization capabilities but if you can see here it is clearly visible so we'll just do a little bit more formatting and finish up with this video so for that uh, the first thing is this change it to this uh, in this way visualization capabilities uh, which is changing the degrees or the direction of the y-axis for that we'll go into properties again go to visualization capabilities hit edit and i think uh, that should be 270 degree if i'm not wrong click apply yeah 270 degree and uh, we'll go again to edit go to font and let's just use 20. same case for ease of use we'll go to edit uh, we don't need to change the angles or degrees we, we just need to change the uh, font size again 20 let's click ok ok and finally ok so right now it is exceeding the screen size so for that again i will press ctrl shift and drag it to the right location so that it is not conflicting with any data level as well as we are clearly able to see what it is trying to communicate all right so here we have our fully formatted magic quadrant chart which you usually see into professional reports so i hope you have found this video useful and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic